Hi there, camper owners. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Lippert's electronic stabilizer jack pad adapters for the JT Strong Arm stabilizer kits. To give you an idea of how our stabilizers function, first we've got them fully raised up so you can see what a trailer would be like if you get some heavy crosswinds or something at your campsite. Or you got some people maybe walking around on the inside and you can see it's, it's rocking pretty good. This would definitely be disturbing if you were inside trying to walk around or anything possibly lose your footing and if you were trying to sleep at night this could definitely wake you up and make it difficult. So now you can see with both our electric stabilizers and our JT strong arm installed this thing is plenty solid pushing as hard as we possibly can and I mean man it almost feels like the walls flexing versus the trailer moving but there is just a little bit of movement there but it's made a substantial difference when walking around on the inside you got some kids running around in there they're not even going to disturb you you'll be able to sleep through the night without even knowing they're there minus they're yelling of course. To further stabilize your trailer, you can also pick up a set of UltraFab chalk and lock wheel stabilizers. This is a perfect setup for a tandem axle trailer. If you currently have either the JT Strong Arm stabilizer system installed on your vehicle, or if you have Lippert's PSX1 or some other powered stabilizer jack, this adapter plate will allow those two components to work together. So whether you're planning on adding both of these at the same time, or maybe you already have one and you're looking to add the second and make them all work together, this is our key item here that will tie these two things together because they really don't play well together. And we're gonna show you why here. If we look at our stabilizer jack here, our electric one, the foot pad was originally attached where this bolt is here, and this is the factory bolt. Our JT strong arm needs to attach to an eyelet here that allows it to pivot. If you'll notice that this eyelet is down below our factory bolt. If you were to install the eyelet here where the factory bolt goes, because that's typically where you would put this when installing the JT strong arm, and our jacks are fully retracted by having the eyelet here in this location, when you raise it up, that T handles come into contact with our yellow bracers here as part of our stabilizer. So this moves it down just about an inch, but that's far enough to allow our jacks to fully retract and clear the JT strong arm. So here we can see that our T handle is able to clear up in here since we were lower, since we lowered down the eyelid here. That also brings the angle of our arm down so it clears the yellow part of the stabilizer here on our electric jack. So we've got no contact with anything. And also the bracket here, if we look at this, the bracket extends upward just a little bit past the factory bolt. And that's our new contact point that stops our jacks from going up any further. Because if we didn't have anything like that here, normally this bolt just kind of stops and it clears up in there, the eyelet would hit. So this gives us our new stop point and it keeps all of our components from contacting one another. We've got it all installed here. Everything looks very nice. And we've got full operation of the JT strong arm and our electric jack thanks to our adapter bracket here. One of the things you need to pay attention to when using a JT strong arm with your electric stabilizer jacks is the T-handle. When your jacks are retracted, it should be released. So that way when you lower down your jack, the arm here can slide out and extend as necessary. Once your feet have fully contacted the ground, you can then tighten this down to secure it into place. Before retracting your jacks, you want to make sure you loosen that up once again. It's very important to allow this to return inside the arm and it also make sure that our T-handle is free because you can see here there are certain positions where it potentially could contact the yellow. Um, looks like we're going to clear all the way here, but on your installation it is possible that it may have slight contact and with it being free it will allow it to just pivot right out of the way and fully retract. And you can see here that when they retract everything can move freely. So. With this adapter plate installed, these two components play very nicely with one another. And we can see we've got it all the way down. We would then want to come back and tighten up those handles now. And if you've got a second set installed on the front, you would just want to do the same thing with those. And we're ready to hunker down on our campsite and enjoy a rock solid camper. And that completes our look at Lippert's electronic stabilizer jack pad adapters for the JT Strong Arm Stabilizer Kits.